whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get ready to Bitcoin. What's up? Alex O Crypto here. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the Otter Gang. Hope you're doing well. Where's this price going? Wow. Today we were saying yesterday looked bearish AF and we were wrong. <laughs> wow, what a pump that was. Holy smokes. If you're in the Discord, you can agree with me that we were caught off guard yesterday after the stream. But, 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 doesn't mean we don't practice good risk management. We were looking at this bearish divergence. And obviously, we got caught. What did you do last night? Well, last night we got stopped out in a small loss it wasn't too bad because we had already taken profit from that trade so last night we took the loss on the chin and we called it a night because we're not going to jump into a revenge trade we're not going to make any rash decisions thank you so much for being here space invader hope you're doing well what is with this crazy price action what is going on I hope you're doing well. Now we're still looking for lower prices and maybe this is what we've been waiting for is this giant wick to the top making all brand new highs, right? We can see we're on this clear uptrend and we're looking to see if Market Cipher can tell us something that we didn't know. Well, we could see what happened here is that we got a nice bounce yesterday off the view app and we pumped up and we wicked up today. So we're going to go into that. We're going to look at the levels. We obviously have a new high now, but the range remains the same. We are within this range here. But obviously with this massive pump, we do have some new things to look at and we have to readjust, right? So we've come up to snap. I was in a short at 285, had a great entry was in profit when I went to bed. That's how it is, right? I mean, for me, if I'm ever going to bed, like I'll take out the profit and put the stop loss at entry just just because I, I want to sleep. You know what I mean? I want to sleep. There will always be more trades and I protect my mindset before anything in order to trade for another day. So looking at this on the daily, we are in the red still. We have printed a green dot. We have moved up significantly, made all time highs for this year. And we're looking for downside yet again. Can this be a double top? Can this send us down? Well, guess what? The bulls are clearly in control. They clearly came down, grabbed some liquidity, and now they pumped it up on us so quickly that we had very minimal time to react. Now, what do I mean? We go into the one hour. We can clearly see like this was wild. This was wild. We're like, look at this beautiful entry that we got. We got a beautiful entry. I was right at the top of the wick and then, you know, kaboom, it pumped on us. What can you do? What can you do when it's like, guess what? Bye bye. The number one thing you can do is not FOMO in, not FOMO in. Then you had the, the bull flag down and then you had this pump straight up again. So now it looks like we're making higher highs. Obviously, we're making higher highs. Can this move be over? We're looking for this move to be done with. And wow, look at the volume. If we go into the volume here, look at the spike in volume for these two candles. In two hours, we have massive, massive amounts of volume and then dropping down into the smaller levels here. So. If you're curious to where this happened, go to your Lux Algo. Go on the half hour. I like the half hour to the hour. Go on your Lux Algo free indicator called Sessions. You can pull up on the chart and then you can see where this happened. Well, guess what? Tokyo just went bonkers on us and Tokyo pumped here as well. So you can see a trend here. So we should have, if you have this indicator on you can see that look Tokyo pumped on us what happened again Tokyo pumped on us so let's watch for tomorrow and see if Tokyo pumps on us okay third time fool me once my fault fool me twice 
my fault. Okay, let's take responsibility here. And let's do some dil due diligence here because Tokyo was flat on the weekend, okay, or on Tuesday. This was Tuesday, but Tokyo was flat along here. So we need to be checking for confluence throughout our charts. So we can see Tokyo has pumped us into the London, right? Tokyo pumped us into the London as well. So we need to be very careful of what's going to happen here. Now, we have come up. We've made a new high. So shout out to the new high. Hope the new high is doing well. We did not catch the wick we were working today, but we will remain humble and try to trade this. So let's go through the time zones. Let's take a look. Yeah, I took 50% out before I went. Awesome Space Invader. Good risk management. Good job, my man. Happy that you're here. Happy that you did that, man, because it went bonkers, didn't it? So going through this, we can see that obviously the daily is pumping on a green dot. RSI returns to overbought area, very steep and high. We are looking for a possible, possible, possible bearish divergence on here. We're waiting for confirmation on a red dot so that we can see if this is going to come true, right? Because we clearly have um, a higher high here and possibly a lower low here that we can see. Okay, so we'll wait to see if we can get this um, confirmation here on bringing us down. Because we had a giant wick up, right? And a giant rejection. A lot of liquidity got in on that short, right? So flipping through these time zones, we can see that we remain very, very much overbought. Okay, very much overbought. We had a little dip down here, right? We thought we were coming down a little bit more. And then they're like, nah, let's pump it up. So they pumped it right back up right to all time new highs for the year. And now we're waiting because obviously we have other people pumping crazy too, which is XRP. And the US dollar is all over Twitter. Okay, the US dollar is over all over Twitter. Pardon me. They got BRICS. They got Brazil, Russia, India, China. Saudi Arabia just agreed to join this this little super team, right? So Thank you everybody for being here. Don't forget to smash those likes. But if we go over to here, we can see that if we go over on our beautiful, beautiful Twitter, we can see that the US dollar is trending. They got all this information on, on what's going on. You know, we got these agreements, the Chinese yuan. And I mean, it's, it's all over the place, right? So we, there's lots of, lots and lots of worry here with the US dollar. So we need to be careful. Make sure to go on Twitter, follow some cryptocurrencies, get some opinions, stay updated on the news because you need to be informed no matter what. We can always look at the charts, but with all this news, massive pumps, massive dumps, bear, Binance having trouble right now, bank runs, people withdrawing their funds, banks being insolvent, over leveraged and not able to pay out to their customers. All these things are going on and it's creating a lot of FUD in the market, okay? The greed index is up to 60 right now. Now, if you are part of our Discord and come over here, you can see it is at 60. All you have to do is come into the Discord, put in the slash button, forward slash, and go to FG and hit enter. And guess what? You can get the fear and greed index right away. And it can tell you, and that's a good idea that, you know what, a lot of people are buying now and they're getting greedy, right? This is the highest, it's one of the highest it's been all year. We've been down here over in the 20s and the 30s for quite some time. And of course, you get the updates and the TA and all that stuff in the Discord. So, and a great community. So come join us in the Discord. You know, we have some tools there to help us stay informed, stay aware, Bully Barry, hey folks, how's it going, Bully? So glad you're here. We got pumped on. Holy smokes, did we not catch that properly? Good thing we practiced good risk management and we stayed vigilant throughout, right? We definitely got a massive pump to some new highs right now and we are looking for it to curl over, but Bitcoin remains strong. Bitcoin remains very strong. So we're not going to try and fight the bulls. We're trying to tame the bulls. And all we can do is get new levels, reset, and try to adjust for what's coming our way. Now we've had 
This level at 28.9. You know what? It could have been a nice short. We had it set up and shout out to TRD Farmer in the Discord. He managed to catch this. You go over to our winner's wall. You can post it. And he got in at 28.903. Look at this guy. Legendary. So shout out to you, TRD Farmer, for getting in there. Right? 28.9. There it is. The setup was given. And he obviously wrote that down and took some profits. Right? So... Great to see people are winning. We're going to raise this up to the wick high here, 29175, just so that's more clear. And we're going to get rid of some of these and we're going to pull some new levels in order to build some confluence. Okay. We need to find confluence now because obviously things have changed. We've had a massive pump up. We do have this bottom range here and this top range here. Okay. So we need to be very very cautious of where we're trading, but this is, we're always looking to make a nice sandwich, okay? And this is our sandwich here that we're looking to trade in between. Right now we're at the very, very top of the range, so we are looking for shorts, okay? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for swing failure patterns, and we're looking for shorts until we break completely out and flip this to support and continue upwards. I look for a short, okay? because we are still being held down by this key level of resistance, okay? So we're gonna look for OBS Studio reconnecting. OBS Studio's acting a fool. Sorry about that. We're right back, right on time. So also, get your alarms out. Make sure you set an alarm for when price comes to these levels. And I was getting my alarm ringing off while I was at work today and I wasn't able to jump into this quick move up into a short. Phil X in the chat. What's up, my man? Hope you're doing well. Shout out to you, Mr. Hydraulic Boatman, my number one. What's up, legend? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. The man with the wrench, the spanner, the shifter, Mr. Phil X. So massive move up, massive move up, right? Missed the wick, but that's okay. John Wick will come back one day and we will short him all good again. Good, brother. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. So we have this level here. We're going to get rid of this as well. And we have our beautiful sandwich here that we're looking to grab a buffet of Bitcoin. Okay. We're looking for the short here. We're going to bring this higher and this up here. And this is our top of our range. Okay. So at the top of the range, we are looking for shorts until we break this key level of resistance. Heading to the beach with the misses and the husky. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I, I can't wait to get a dog one day. I mean, man's best friend. And Mrs. Otter says hello. Um, we're going to have to hit you up and come scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Um, sounds like a plan. Hopefully, we can get up to where you're at. But nonetheless, let's keep looking at the Bitcoin price. Now we're going to pull over our volume and take a look at this. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. And we got a point of control here. So we're going to mark out our point of control. Also, we are going to mark out our new Fibonacci retracement level, which will be over here. And we will add that as well. Okay, so we got two levels that we're looking for. A reaction okay we're looking for reactions here we got the point of control right and we're gonna label this double click double click POC make it a little bit bigger it's on the right this is how I orientate it but you can see this is the point of control and we need to be very cautious of that also below us this golden pocket you can see right here at 27416 very 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 key level of of support too you can see the volume cluster to the left here is very strong and we have a golden pocket here so two levels to be watching and that is this point of control here and obviously this golden pocket here which is also a very high volume node so we have two high volume nodes we have two levels for re price reacting we can see that we did get a bounce off of here if we zoom in and we're going to try and trade this range depending on how price reacts. So how do we trade this? So we've come up, we can bounce and continue higher. We can 
come down and bounce off of here, right? We can come down to here, bounce off of here and head this way. There's many options, but we're always looking for a reaction in price, right? Because these are quite significant. They are quite a distance away, right? We have a $400, $500 difference here. We have almost a $1,000 difference here, right? These are all juicy trades with some leverage, right? So we're watching this area right now for confluence, right? For confluence. So right now I'd be looking for a short. I'd be looking for a short on the price action. Now, how can I find a short? This doesn't look very shortable, okay? Shortable, is that a word? This doesn't look very shortable. Hope you are also well. Bring the Danish when you come, please. <laughs> <laughs> Housewarming Danish gifts for days, my friend, for days. So we're going to zoom into this price area here and get some ideas, okay? So zooming out, we got the point of control here. And look, it's been respected. We pull this across, respected, 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 back up. Okay, so it looks like we're moving back up. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a swing failure pattern. Let's jump into the 12. Let's pull a fib. Let's go from the top to the bottom and look for a reaction here. Where is my first level to be looking? It's right here at this key level here. And we're looking for a short somewhere. Oh, 28.9. Look at that. Wada bing, bada boom. Let's -a go. So Mrs. Otto likes a bada bing, bada boom. She loves the Italian stallion. No, I'm joking. I won't go there. Um, but... We are looking for this beautiful level at 28.9, but let's be very careful. What else can we see? We've pumped up massively. We flagged out here, pumped, rejected extremely hard, right? Grab some liquidity up here from the previous highs way back that way, right? And we've dumped back down and now we're working our way back up. Look for us to have a swing failure pattern here with some sort of bearish divergence to send us down, okay? That's what we're going to be looking for in the short-term time frame, right? In the short-term time frame. Long-term time frame, though, when we look at the daily, when we look at these, we see we're very oversold. We're looking to cool off, right? We're looking to for this money flow to continue to come out on the daily and possibly switch bearish. That is what we're looking for. The fallen one in the chat, LFG, my friend, LFG means let's flip in gain grow go let's go <laughs> thank you so much fallen for being here another march baby you know we have a bunch of people born in in the month of march in this channel shout out to you i believe it's march 6th correct me if i'm wrong see we try to pay attention here Okay, we try to pay attention to people and make this more of a personal touch of a channel, right? Because everybody's important. Without you guys, there would be no channel, right? So thank you guys so much for always being here and all your support. Greatly appreciate every single one of you. So my idea is right now, as I said, is that, man, what can you say? We were, we were in a great position, great short yesterday. Good entry right to the dollar. And guess what? We went to pump town and Bitcoin did what it wants to always do. And that's come down, grab liquidity and then go up and grab more liquidity. And it continues to be volatile. That's why we're in this space. And that's why we trade it, because when we catch those moves, which we're trying to do on a daily basis, that's why we're here every single day. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we're here every single day, given the setups, given the ideas, given the levels so that we can all benefit from this and hopefully grab some nice trades, okay? So this 28.9 is where my first idea is where we can come up and then head down. And if we don't, we're gonna look for a swing failure pattern down below at this 27.9, well, let's just say 2800 just to be easier, 2,800. Um, we're going to look at this level because we know it's a point of control and it's a high volume area. So we're looking for a bounce off of there and possibly to continue 
to the upside. Okay? So add these to your charts. Make sure to note why they're important, right? Key levels of volume, key levels, golden pockets, right? These levels, we don't just draw them on our chart for fun. We draw them because that's where price goes to to have a reaction in order for us to jump into a trade and practice good risk management, a good mindset, practice some courage, practice some patience, get into the trade, protect our capital, but also profit. So these are my levels. Make sure to add them. And let's jump over to the S&P 500. Now we're above 4K. We're above 4K on the S&P. Is this bullish for the S&P? Absolutely. We need to get above this 4,071. This is a key level. We can see we are still not above this high. So we are still technically in a downtrend until we get above this high here. But it is looking bullish. It does look like it's pumped up. But tomorrow is Thursday. So the, the market has been pumping up from Monday to Wednesday. That means Thursday, Friday. I expect a little bit of a retracement. Okay, Wednesday seems to be the flip day where markets do one thing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It kind of cools off and then it goes the opposite way. That tends to be a trend every week. Will it happen this week? We'll see what plays out, but we will be ready. The S&P is looking to come up and test this level of resistance. Let's look for a reaction and then possibly down. Okay. Let's keep a close eye because we are getting really close to this box here on the S&P where we've had multiple, multiple touches where we want to be cautious, okay? Because if we push through here and flip it to support, well, we're going up, right? We're going up. Now, over to the Dixie. What is the Dixie telling us? The Dixie is trying to hold on for dear life at this level. What does this mean? This is a level of well, guess what? The Dixie goes down, Bitcoin goes up. We're in a clear downtrend on the Dixie. Can it bottom out here at this key level of support and push upwards? That's what we're looking at for sure in order to see Bitcoin come down. Okay, so if, if this support on the Dixie holds, look for us to move upwards, okay? Or look for us to move downwards on BTC and upwards on the Dixie. Okay. Daily bear div forming on BTC daily and bear div on the weekly VWAP. Yet we were talking about that daily bear div that we're looking for it to form right here. And it is looking juicy. We talked about that at the beginning of the stream that if this does stay lower, right, we can get that downwards action and the upwards price action and hopefully send us down to the basement, right? So we're definitely looking for that. Dump it, daddy. Dump it. Let's go. One more grab of liquidity than basement? I think so. Lower prices, accumulation. We all want to buy more cheap, man. We all want to buy more cheap. This whole 12K Bitcoin got us all, all patient and stuff, and now we're paying for it. So hopefully we can dump Bitcoin down to the ground so we can pick up some more in order to accumulate our bags for this bull run that's coming up our way. I'm, I'm in the same category. I think Felix is too. We all want that sub 20K Bitcoin minimum, right? Remember, a pump can always happen before the dump. That is, that is very Yoda of you to say the pump can always happen. Would, would Yoda say the dump can happen after the pump, though? Would he say it in reverse? That is the question. Do or do not. There is no try. Um, so we're looking at this daily bear div. Yesterday, we were looking at this two-day red dot. And guess what? It went the opposite way. Felix is still looking at 30K plus until we hit 27 or less. So there is some different opinions out here. And we can try to trade the ranges, get into these trades, and hopefully the otter here can let us know which way we're going to go. And right now, it's staying down. If the tail is pointing down, the otter is staying down, okay? So, 
<laughs> let's 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 see what the otter has in store for us. But yes, we all want this basement price so that we can accumulate. I agree. I think I have I think I have um so Bitcoin dominance is still very high. This is how I drew it out a very long time ago. Hmm. 12.8 target. Yeah. So we are still up here. Anytime now, Bitcoin. I would love some cheap BTC, says Bully Berry. So we're going to have to do the cheap BTC dance in the chat and in the Discord. And hopefully it comes to fruition. Now, remember, Ethereum unstaking is coming up. Okay, this to me is going to be a very, very interesting yet good day for cryptocurrencies because people are allowed to take their Ethereum off of and cash them in or they're allowed to stake it and vice versa, which is very, very good for the whole industry. So unstaking event April 12th. Add it to your charts. Be sure to be prepared for this as well. It's coming up faster than you think. Less than two weeks away. Okay, so be very careful of that. Look for BTC to be held down by this 2000 level. You know, we came up to it in that relief rally of that bear market. But let's see what happens with this Ethereum price as well. Matic 2 has great adoption happening lately. It has struggled as of late, but we did see that massive push up all the way to $1.60. So let's be very careful. Bear Div on the money flow and BTC also. Very, very good. Bear Div on money flow. Life's Prodigy, how about that crazy wick? I know, man. That was wild. We were here. We we're like, oh, we're in a nice short. Paid myself. And then boom yesterday boom and we we started the live stream half an hour early if we had started that live stream on at five o'clock we would have seen that wick on live stream that would have been fun but guess what with good risk management we were all right we had taken profits we had paid ourselves already and and we we ended up with a small small loss on that massive pump up which is why we use a good stop loss, remember? So thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks, Phillips, for, for throwing up the Discord. Yeah, join us in the Discord. We're always in there trying to help one another, trying to figure out what the heck's going to happen with this price, right? Where are we going next? Let's add this 30. I thought I wouldn't be doing this quite yet, but I'm going to add this 33 key level of support or of resistance to my chart hoof am i going to be pulling volume from here already are we at that point my friends where we're pulling the volume from the larger range and we are finding volume spikes look at this so this is nice i like this 20 that's 30k 29.8 hmm could be the spot, man. Could be the spot that we go to. You can see the volume spike here. That will definitely be hard to get above, but who knows? Like and sub, 11 viewers, four likes. Come on, Otter Gang, let's go! I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys for being here. We're out here every single day trying to help you guys, so... What else can I see? I see the weekly going flat here. I see this doji candle. I see this pump up as well. So it's really trying to push into this range above here, right? That's obvious. But what it is doing is it's creating a range just above this bear market that we just had ever since June, right? So for me, this level down here was where we traded for so long. We've come above it, which is very healthy for price action, but that doesn't mean that we can't come down. Now, we also got to remember, friends, that there is a CME gap down here at 21,145 that we have yet to fill, okay? 
So naturally, price wants to return to these areas and fill them up. You can see the nice gap we have over here, right? This is the entry, but we want to see price work its way down and fill this up, right? Fill this up. It's like, it's like, it's like um, color by number, okay? So we want to see this area colored by numbered, okay? So we're going to make sure that we watch the price and look for price to come down, okay? to come down. That's my overall thoughts. We have wicked up. We've had some volume. We've tested. We've made some new highs, which is great. The American dollar is going to poop. Bank runs are happening. Bitcoin's remaining strong. This is what we want. It's showing strength in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. We definitely want to see this even with all the FUD in the market. Even with CZ being sued or whatever by the SEC, we see the NASDAQ making all-time highs for this year. Coming above this, this area, the NASDAQ 100, the volatility index has dropped. If it gets down to the 17 area, that looks like bull run territory to me. So if we come down below this area, that's very, very bullish in my opinion. This is the volatility index, the VIX. So I, I always, it, it, I watch it, but I'm aware when it comes to these levels around 17 and 29, that when it's above, this is very bearish. And when it's below this area, it's very bullish. Okay. That's pretty much how I look at the VIX. You can add it to your chart. It's just a volatility index. A lot of people Look for it for a leading indicator on the S&P 500, okay? So if this is dumping, the S&P is normally pumping. It's an inverse relation to the S&P 500. Um, so I, I do check this every now and then just for confluence of which way. You can see the S&P has definitely pumped. The VIX has definitely dumped, okay? So we're looking for a bounce here off of these this key level here. And we'll see what happens here. But this is another tool in, in the toolbox that I use in order to help build confluence. And we can see that it's coming down and it could possibly come back up, which is going to be bearish if it comes back up for the S&P, which will then trickle over into Bitcoin. So many, many things to be watching here. But overall, massive pump yesterday. Very, very, very bullish. Very cool. CM me gap above us now closer. Absolutely. Um, you gotta always watch these CME gaps. They can very much be leading indicators of where price wants to go. We have filled this one over here, but we do have one, I believe over here. Where is this one here? Let's see. Let's stretch this thing out. Look at this thing right here. So we will draw this in here and we will extend that across as well because we want to go back and fill this too, right? Let's stretch it out so I can grab the horizontal. See, that's a very easy way of, of using boxes and putting them over to where they belong, right? Alex, Jade and I would love to have you up here. Much love. Stay safe. That would be great, my friend. Amy and I definitely, Mrs. Otter, want to come up and visit the Great Barrier Reef. So I will, I will talk to the boss and let you know um, because we're always down for an adventure. I mean, Canadian living in Australia, work in the charts, Mr. International, baby. We lived in the UK before we came here. So wherever you're from, we're Commonwealth. We're coming for you. We love you all. We love you all. Um, yeah, so we got this level up here. Let's put a let's put a note on that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Space Invader. Much appreciated, my friend. Thirty four k. It's not that far away, okay? It's not that far away. We've seen Bitcoin make twenty percent moves. Um, hello, what's this? Forty eight percent. Come on, that brings us to forty two k. It's not that far away, my friends, not that far away. So anything is possible with Bitcoin. We are pumping. We are in a massive uptrend. The trend is your friend until the end. We are looking for a healthy retracement in order to continue upwards. Okay.
Can I check FTM? Yes, of course we can check FTM for you, my friend. Anytime. So we were talking about FTM yesterday um, or the day before. I can't remember. So let's zoom in here and let's see what we have. And we were looking for a pump. And look at that. Look at that. Looks like we managed to make a call here that kind of worked out. Kind of worked out. Did we get stopped out? Oof, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. We were looking for it to come back and then pop back up. So FTM right now, it's currently breaking out. It's broken out of this downtrend. It's popped back up. Let's zoom in a little bit more even. We got a red, oh, we got a, we have a blood diamond, which isn't anything too worrisome. Um, it's not that high. It's only on the one hour. Um, we do have the golden pocket. It's bouncing off the 0.5 right now. I bet you there is volume at this 0.5 if we pull this across. Yep, there is volume. So this is your, your range right here. So we're going to pull this across, my friend. And this is your range that you want to be looking for shorts and longs in. So we do have this key level down here. If we do work further down, I will be looking for, I would be looking for a long here. This is, this is where I'd be looking to long to target the highs. And then this would come. Mm. Yeah, pretty tight, pretty tight. So know that you have this point of control above you here. This is key resistance. Okay. This is key resistance. This is going to try and hold down price. We have yet to challenge it, so look for the price to retrace and continue upwards. Right now, it isn't looking too bullish. It has had a little bit of John Wickiness, but look for it to continue down and possibly pop up. That's what I'd be looking for. If not, if it does continue upwards, then I'd be looking for a rejection at this 48 cents level. That's what I will continue to say for Phantom for now. But yeah, the top of your range is is definitely here at 46.50. And then the bottom of your range is where we've wicked down here. And you can see this has been respected throughout. You can see you have highs and lows here um, and volume, right? You have volume throughout. So be cautious with FTM. It is an alt. It does move quite dramatically. And you can see that you're in this volume cluster here. So look for FTM to probably trickle down slowly, pop off a golden pocket and look to continue upwards. Now we need to remember that most of the alts besides XRP have been pretty, pretty steady Freddy, not moving anywhere, right? We're waiting for Bitcoin and all this FUD around the market to actually make a decision. So those are my thoughts on FTM. I hope that helps build some confluence. These are my three levels that I would add to my chart. I'd be looking for it to, to range between here, but also if it does break out, I'd look for a bounce off of this 43.72 up to the highs as well. And that's my, my thoughts for beautiful Phantom and all their friends. So XRP, we're going to take a quick look. Just wild. XRP just wild, right? I filled up some bags, sold some bags. We're doing all right with the XRP. We're looking for it to come and continue downwards, okay? XRP has had its day, but I don't think we're going to gonna see this pump to the moon just yet. But lots of bullish, bullish sentiment in the court case. Lots of people buying up XRP all over the world. Altcoin Daily. Um, I watched a video today. Altcoin Daily has a good video on XRP and what's going on with them. So if you go over and YouTube Altcoin Daily, he has a little XRP video. I think it's only 10 minutes long that came out today or yesterday. So you can go and watch that. That'll give you some more ideas on what's going on with XRP. But he said, you know, basically that people all around the world are buying into XRP. Obviously, this FUD with the American dollar and things like that, that the court case is getting closer to an end and people are hoping that the SEC is defeated, which should be bullish for XRP.
but it's still going to take some time. Okay. It's still going to take some time. So I expect XRP to trickle down over the next few couple weeks, right? Okay. So that's me tonight. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure to add these to your charts. I'll throw them up in the discord. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out. It helps me help you guys out. And you know what? The bigger the community, the better, the more ideas. Much love to every single one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Mrs. Otter says hi. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. God bless. Love you all. Bye. Here's a chart. Add it to your chart. Add the levels because you are loved. Mrs. Otter, what's for dinner? Pizza wraps. Pizza wraps. Pineapple goes on pizza. <laughs>